Welcome to a day in my life. I wake up before 7 a.m. every morning, get breakfast as soon as the dining hall opens, work on the weekly labs and assignments, go to classes, more classes, too many classes, finally get to bean in to practice, squeezing in some movement at the end of the day, sleep and repeat. Wake up, breakfast, work, classes, classes, work, practice, workout, repeat. Wake up, breakfast, work, classes, classes, too many classes, work, practice. I'm tired. Hi everyone, it's been a hot minute. I'm seriously not going to downplay it when I say college and going back to school can really take a toll on you, your mental health, your physical well-being, everything. And school life has definitely been getting the best of me. We're picking our rooms for next year right now. This is so scary. I'm in my housing portal. I'm trying to get a single, so. Oh, wait, 30 seconds. Okay, three seconds. It's the third quarter, final quarter of the year, the quarter before summer. I think this is a great time for some reflection. So let me walk you through what freshman year looks like to me so far. Okay. Okay, I gotta call my friends now. Bro, that was intense. Okay. In fall quarter, coming to college, the experience was fresh. You're afloat, but excited about the independence. You're finding your community, and every day seems like a new adventure. In winter quarter, you've found some sense of community, but things are still changing. Relationships are still being evaluated. Now, in the third quarter, you're seeing patterns days start blending together, wearing the same shades of grey, your sense of time distorted by the sameness of it all. You develop routine, routine in your days, routine in the people you're surrounded by. Around this time, I find myself just falling back on discipline, on routine, to get through my days. It's easy to tell yourself to just do it, keep grinding, treat yourself like a machine, but you're not a machine, you're a human and you can get burnt out, and you can feel tired. The 10-week quarter system is just like go, 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 and everyone is just always grinding. It's hard not to question whether or not you're doing enough. And we all have such high standards for ourselves, and in this type of environment, you're constantly under the pressure to be busy, act busy, to always be doing something going somewhere. Sometimes I wonder if I'm actually busy, or if I'm just being busy, acting busy. I think one of the biggest, quite toxic things I picked up and started telling myself constantly this year was that if I wanted it enough, I'd make time for it, I would do it. If not, then I didn't want it enough. Whenever I lost motivation for anything, I would just keep repeating that to myself. I would tell myself, Hannah, so you don't actually want it, do you? You know you want it, but you're just lazy. You don't want it enough, so want it enough. You're just lazy. Stop. You are enough. What do you want? You want happiness. You want health. You want to feel loved. You want to spread love. You want to spread joy. You want a college experience that you can look back fondly on. You want a break, so give yourself a break. Do something fun, something that makes you feel confident, something that rejuvenates you so that you can come back the next day feeling refreshed, ready to tackle the next challenge. We really forget to take care of ourselves during these times, but really in order to give our most out to the world, we have to first make sure we give ourselves enough. Make sure your own cup is full before you try pouring it to all the other areas demanding your attention nowadays. Give yourself more love because you deserve it. I got a takeout. It's like such a pretty day. It's obviously like springtime, but it's Friday, so we got a lot of fun things planned. Very exciting. I'm very excited. So happy it's Friday. Yeah, let's eat. During this time, routine can get monotonous. The days start getting long and boring. 
The key is to fall in love with the things you're doing on an everyday basis. That way you can find joy, interest, and change in routine. Romanticize your life and don't be afraid to have your main character moments. Fall in love with the things you're doing on an everyday basis. Fall in love with the everyday interactions you have with friends. And you may just find that things aren't so bland, but much more colorful. Because beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, so maybe a shift in mindset and perspective can help you become that person that chooses to find the simple, mundane, routine things colorful and beautiful. beautiful. I'm so content with life right now. Although my life has never been more routine driven, more seemingly monotonous, and my relationships seemingly stagnant, I've never been more grateful for this sameness. I feel so firmly grounded in my life. Because life is so simple. There's nothing overly exciting, nothing out of the ordinary. Now that pretty much six months have gone by, I'm also starting to see which relationships are built on something stronger than just the initial dependence we had when being thrown into this new environment. It's crazy how much my social circle fluctuated throughout these past three quarters. I had multiple fallouts with friends I thought would be my bestest friends for the next four years. I had a friend group for the first time in my life, but realized with time that some of those relationships turned fragile in a group. So many changes to my relationships happened in order to bring me to today. And it's crazy, because there are a few relationships that stayed constant throughout all those fluctuations, and I'm so grateful for them. Time will tell, time did tell. The people who stick by your side through the good times, the bad times, but more importantly, the people who are with you through the exciting times, but also were there adding color to the monotony of routine times. Because of them, routine is something that you look forward to just a little more. Because of them, you're more confident. Because of them, you don't feel lonely, even when you're alone. We're already halfway done with this quarter. Soon it'll be summertime. Freshman year is coming to a close, and it's crazy how much I changed throughout these six-ish months. Although there were so many ups and downs, I have to say that it's amazing how everything really does fall into place in hindsight. I think, for now, the biggest reminders are that you are enough. Treat yourself like how you would treat other people. Give yourself the love that you so graciously give to others. Let time do its magic. And truly, fall in love with routine. There's just so much color and beauty in everyday life. Really, life is pretty simple.